Hello, I'm Sham, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today I'm going to show you how to view and manage quotas for AWS services using service quotas. Let's get started. To view and manage service quotas, first sign in to the AWS management console and navigate to the service quotas console. Or you can open service quotas by finding the my service quotas option in the navigation bar. Service quotas previously referred to as service limits, define the maximum number of resources that you can create for each AWS service in an AWS account. Unless otherwise noted, each quota is region specific. So the same service can have different quotas in different regions. To view the quotas for a specific region, you can use the region dropdown list on the navigation bar. Along with looking up the quota values, you can use the service quota console to manually request a quota increase. Note that while some service quotas are raised automatically over time as you use AWS, most AWS services require that you manually request quota increases. To view the current quota information for a specific service and to request a quota increase, navigate to AWS services and then select a service from the list. In this example, you can see the quota information for the AWS Identity and Access Management service. For each service, you can see a complete list of all quotas with their default values and whether this value is adjustable or not. Let's take a look at the role trust policy lens service quota. Now, if you want to request an increase for this quota, simply select the request quota increase button and then enter the new quota value. After choosing request, you will see that the quota increase was successfully requested. You can see the status of all your quota requests on the quota request history page. As you can see, the request is in pending status. You can choose a status for more details. Some quota requests, such as this one, are handled automatically. When you refresh the page, you will see that the request is already approved. This means that the increased quota is now in effect. Now let's go back to the dashboard and try submitting a quota increase request for another service. Let's choose AWS Key Management Service and then select the Enable Key Request Rate Quota. Once again, you can see the details about this quota. Before we submit a quota increase, pay attention to the embedded monitoring graph from Amazon CloudWatch. You can create a CloudWatch alarm from this page to automatically notify you whenever a specified quota reaches the maximum percentage or level that you have predefined. For example, you can create an alarm that notifies you when 80% of the quota is reached. Note that you can create CloudWatch alarms only for those quotas that support this feature. You can then use the CloudWatch console to configure notifications. Let's see what happens when we request a quota increase for the service. Once again, navigate to the quota request history page and refresh the page. When you click on the quota requested status, you will notice that a support center case was created on your behalf. Unlike our first request, this one is not automatically approved. Choosing the Support Center case ID opens the AWS Support Center page where you can see the full details of the case that was opened. You can further work with the AWS support team using this support case until your request has been resolved. Or you can choose to cancel your quota request and close the case yourself by choosing Resolve Case. So now you know how to view and manage quotas for AWS services using the Service Quotas console. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.